welcome back everyone i hope you're doing fine and are safe right now we'll be doing some steps i'm not sure how many right now so let's start by doing step 9 cool um, in this we'll be turning off control c and control z signals which is like um, if you um, run uh, if you run kilo then if you press control c or uh, then it will terminate your program and if you press control z then it will um, put your program in the background okay and uh, we'll just see okay so asd and uh, control c is terminating and um, control z is stopping and if you see in the background kilo is running here and and uh, now if you press fg you can bring it to front and uh, kilo is still running i mean it will be still running fine and uh, let's press q and exit so by default control c sends a sig int signal to the current process which causes it to terminate and control c sends a sig tstp signal to the current process which causes it to suspend let's turn off the uh, s uh, let's turn it off the sending of both the signals okay okay and uh, yeah so you know that this is a not symbol um, so what we are saying is not echo not icanon not isig which means these are uh, it's like saying um, don't echo don't icanon and don't isig fine and uh, we need to change this only so let's do that Cool. And uh, um, I S I G. Oops. Cool. So this is done, and it comes from Termius dot H, like I C A N O N. It starts with I, but it's not an input flag. It's a. It's a wait I C L flag. Um, yeah it's a local flag cool so yeah that I forgot what it was and uh, control C can be read as a 3 byte okay we'll just do that make kilo and I'll increase the size uh, kilo so it takes an input QW Okay, wait, wait, wait. ASD uh, and if we press Q, then it is out. Okay, and uh, if I press like Control C, is three. So A B C. So Control A is one. Control B is two, and Control C is three. Control D is four, and Control Z would be twenty six, and X would be twenty four fine so it's working and if we press Q so that is the only way to exit kilo now fine and yeah it also disables control Y on Mac OS which is like control Z except it waits for the program to read input before su suspending it now if you have Mac OS you can try that out I'll try with control Y and it reads 25 which is fine fine now let's go to step 10 disable control s and control q let's do that Con okay so asd and control s now h e l l o it's not showing now if i press control q it will display so it's like uh, pausing the program but still reading the input and uh, once i press control q then it will uh, flush in the input um yeah and this is um, uh, control s and control q are used for software control flow and let's just read that once software okay c t r l s i think i've read it oh yeah yeah, yeah. so in step uh, eight we've seen this by the way if you happen to press ctrl s you may find your program to be frozen so in the previous video we have seen that okay 
and software control feature. If you see the URL in the left, bottom left, so it's actually written software control flow, software software flow control, sorry. And uh, yeah, we've discussed this in um, step eight video and that's fine. Okay. And uh, we need to now, uh, yeah, we're in, we're in step 10, okay and uh, st stops the data from being transmitted to the terminal until you press control Q. This originates in the days when you might want to pause the transmission of data to let a device like printer catch up. Okay, so it was back in the good old days and uh, we need to add the I flag which is the input flag. Now this I is actually input, okay? And it is coming from terminus.h which is already there present as our header file the i stands for input flag which it is unlike the other i flags we have seen so far like i c a n o n or i s i g and the x o n comes from the names of the two control characters that control s and control q produce uh, okay just a minute before we reach uh, i mean before we edit step 10 um the cl flag Trains ISIG when any of the characters uh, in a suspend or DSUP are received, uh, generate the corresponding signal. Okay, so this was from the man pages, and uh, we can see Mantomios. Yeah, when any of the characters quit or suspend or you know any of them receive, that's the signal for that. I'm sorry I didn't cover that in step 9 this will go as one video so that's fine and I X O N comes from terminus.h this is fine and X O N comes from the names of the two two control characters which is here X on and X off so X on is control Q and X off is control s okay um, yeah so this is fine and let's quit and edit our program which is ICI flag and okay why is the dog barking right now let me just pause for a second uh, so that the dog becomes quiet all right we are back the the dog stopped barking and we'll have our raw dot c i flag ampersand is equal to not i x o n okay i x o n yeah, that's fine we'll save it and we'll make our kilo so it's compiled and let's run so control a b c control s and control q and control z it's fine let's exit and uh, yeah that's there okay and uh, we'll just see it in the manual which is uh, cc flag co flag yeah ci flag is ha having i x o n enable x o n and x o x off soft uh, flow control on output okay and uh, you'll see our notes um, raw mode that's fine um okay so that's the same it's covered and uh, the man pages for termios you'll understand this after step 15 but still let's go through it the raw mode uh, cf raw, make raw search the terminal to something like the raw mode of the old version 7 terminal driver input is available character by character echoing is disabled and all special processing of terminal input and output characters is, is disabled the terminal attributes are set as follows so this all is the terminal attribute which we will be doing um on step 15 or till step 15 is what i presume okay 
and uh, we'll be using all this uh, turning off all these special um, modes in our terminal to achieve the the raw mode okay and i'll cover this again after step 15 hopefully i remember and if you actually see here like the cl flag has what icnon um, icig and echo then the input flag has ixon so we're already following some of it fine and yeah that's it for step um, 10 okay so this is it for this video i won't make it much more longer if you have any feedback um, bad or good that's fine uh, it will help me improve so please uh, give that and uh, or else if you want you can reach out to me on twitter um, which is at the rate infosec gorong same as my youtube channel name and thank you for watching i hope you're enjoying the video series and uh, bye